Hi there YouTube friends, this is Shozy G and I have an opening video for you and you're never going to guess what this is. Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I couldn't resist. Um, it's the doll. Yes, one more doll. But she was a really good price and look at all the packing material. <laughs> it's like a worm. <laughs> Um, the thing is, is that it was either, and she's actually the doll that was on the back of the package. Ugh, this huge box they send her in. Um, that was on the back of the package of the wheelchair, which is ironic. She wasn't the one that I originally wanted. The one I wanted had red hair, but she's pretty cute. cute. It's called My... Oh, be my girl. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it's late or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, she's cute. She's got a really cute face, and I've seen her in ads before um, for, like, clothes on eBay. Um, her face mold. She's usually blonde, you know, because everybody likes a blonde girl. <laughs> Blondes have more fun, yada, yada, yada. Well, yeah, they do. I can attest to that. <laughs> but that's not the point, is it? Oh, and there went Secret Ivy. She's crazy. Um, anyway, the box is good. She's, um... Uh, it says, Celebrates Friendship and Fun with the Be My Girl collection. Um, these dolls are girls just like you, best friends forever, sharing secrets, inspiring laughs, and supporting each other. They're fun-loving girls with a sense of adventure who always follow their dreams. It will surely warm your heart and become your new best friends. So, they have soft, um, lifelike bodies, poseable arms and legs, surface washable, and, um, they're, they have sleep eyes, as you can tell. She has sleep eyes. See that? Yeah. You can see that. <laughs> okay. Her eyes are really big. They're like cow eyes. And her nose is kind of like um, very pert. And her lips, I like the way her mouth is designed because it kind of goes down a little bit, you know, because usually it's all like lips. That's all you see, your lips. But this is kind of nice. I, I like her face mold a lot. I know, again, that she's probably made by a Madame Alexander. Um, doesn't really say Paradise Kids LLC. Could be a division of Madame Alexander. I'm not really sure. You have to do some looking there. But anyway, let me open her up and I'll be right back, okay? But anyway, she was the one piece that didn't come in with the car and the wheelchair from Kohl's. And then they um, also, uh, Heather, Heather from, um, she has a blog. She found some other great 18-inch dolls that are kind of like, uh, they're a cross between um, BF um, Best Friends Club and another type of doll, MGAs or whatever. Uh, they're a little. They're not quite as maybe as big. Maybe they are, but not maybe not quite their body types as big as regular 18 inch dolls um, like this one. But um, they're really cute, and they're at Kohl's, and they run about 35, 30. Seven, something like that dollars so take a look at those two they're called hashtag girlfriends anyway it, doll or something like that but if you go to um, Kohl's online and you type in 18 inch dolls they'll pop up and they're really super cute there's four of them uh, so take a look at those two and I'll be right back let me open her up okay Okay, so she's out of the box, and interestingly enough, her little ponytails here, her tiny little ponytails in the front, were stitched onto her jacket. <laughs> so I had to cut them off, and this one I actually cut the rubber band off of it, so it's loose. But that's okay, because they're not going to stay in ponytails. <laughs> that looks a little odd. And then she's got a ponytail in the back. Um, she's got something in her hair, I'm not sure what. But her hair seems very... 
Um, it's not very good quality, I can't say. Uh, it looks like it's going to be kind of already a problem, which I'd read about on the reviews that it gets really tangled easily. And it's not cut very well. You can kind of tell. Look at that. See? So, hmm. She may be in for a haircut already. <laughs> But that's okay, because I'll just have to look at it. I'll have to take it down and look at it. And then her her little um, headband is on sideways, because <laughs> this should be in the back where you can't see it. Okay, so already I've got some little issues there. But And then she's got, it looks like, um, a piece that's pulled back here, because I can see a rubber band right there. So... And she's got a side part, which is cute. But I still, again, I still like her big eyes, although her eyes move a lot. Do you see that? Hmm. But she's got a little snub nose. That's cute. And then I like, again, I like her lips. I like this big lip here, this big um, lip part. That's nice. So it's not all just fat, big fat lips. I mean, the lips are great, but you see that on so many of the dolls now that they hardly have this portion anymore. So this is this is unique. It's different. I like it. And her face is shaped like almost like a heart shaped, um, which is different too. Usually it's uh, the faces are real different. Um, here's a side view of her. If you can see that, um, but it's more it's kind of more rounded um, in a way. So, and these are her hands. She's got kind of uh, one finger is tilted and the other three kind of, you know, go that way. Let's see what the other hand looks like. And her other hand's more relaxed, less lobster claw-ish. And her shoes are very cute. They're plastic, but they're very cute. Let's see what the bottom looks like. Oh, cool. Non-skid. Very nice. She's not going to fall. Okay, I like her tights. They're very cute. They're a little bit bright for this outfit. Um, I mean, the under, they go with the underskirt. The little, it's not really an underskirt. It's just like a sewn-on piece um, to her skirt. But, I mean, I don't think that they're, they're necessary. I mean, I, I know everything is not matchy-matchy anymore. It's like avant-garde. But I just, for little girls, I think it's, it's cute. But it's odd, you know? I mean, just, you've got this really nice outfit on the top, and then you've got these glaring pink hard tights on the bottom. It's like, what? What are wrong here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'd wear this to the office. Well, I would, baby, but not with this top uh, area. I'd wear this with something else, like something, a pink bolero jacket. <laughs> so, anyway, it's a tank top. It's cute. Just a regular tank top, bolero jacket with a ruffle, black ruffle, and this cute little paisley print. It almost looks like a skirt, almost looks like um, a miniaturized um, bandana. And then it's got this great trim here, which is like a, a tulle trim. She doesn't have undies on, but I did check her belly, and this is really interesting. Do you see that seam? This is a seam that runs across her whole entire body which is interesting, but she does have a a plate here, you know, like a plastic plate. So her body is stitched in three pieces, basically. You've got the top plate, the top part of her body, and then the bottom part of her body. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, but um, no undies, just the little tights. So, um, and then the skirt, the shoes, the shirt, and the bolero and the headband. So that's what she comes with. That's it. She doesn't come with any kind of accessories. Um, and she was on sale for $20, thank goodness, because I don't think I'd pay any more for her. Um, she doesn't seem to... Maybe she would stand on a, on a flat surface, but she seems a little bit top-heavy to me. That's what she seems like. Sorry, I'm showing you her bottom. Um, see? Do you see that? She seems kind of top-heavy.
She's a really cute doll. But um, I got the doll and the outfit together because just an outfit and outfit, not this outfit, but just an outfit, which was just regular old outfit, not not anything special, was seventeen over seventeen dollars, and this doll was a little over twenty. So I figured, well, you know, for three dollars extra, I can get a doll too. I mean, I'd pay three dollars for a doll, wouldn't you? So um, that's why I got the whole the doll and the outfit, and I like the outfit a lot, especially the skirt. I really like the skirt. So, and even the crazy the crazy tights, they can go on something else. They'd be great for Valentine's Day. All right. Um, so tell me what you think of her. Um, I think she looks, she's really cute. I'm thinking her name should be Emery for some reason. Emery just popped into my head. I don't know why. Um, but she needs a new hairdo. That's <laughs> her darn sure. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> hmm. Okay. We'll figure that out. Um, but anyway, I will just leave you with her. But she's pretty cute. I mean, like I said, $20, not bad. But the other dolls run about 44 The same ones, kind of like her, they might have another accessory. But I think that's pretty expensive, 34 to $44 for a doll like this. So let me know what you think. All right, but take a look at Coles and see what, see what you find. Take care. Bye-bye.